I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. And uh, we're going to have a special service today because uh, tomorrow is going to be my 96th birthday. And I've never been 96 before, so I'm all excited. And maybe you could call your friends and say, tune us in. He's going to talk about his birthday and see, uh, just see how he, he sounds when he's 96, almost 96 tomorrow. So we just have to have, so happy to have you with us and hope you'll join us and get your friends to join us too. Where we're we, we are reading uh, from Psalm chapter 96. And uh, we've been uh, started in, uh, in uh, 1990. And every year we've ch taken a chapter, whatever I, my birthday date was, and uh, 91, 92, and here we are, 96, if you can imagine it. And uh, so we're going to read for the opening verses. And then in our prayer, uh, we're going to pray for the persecuted church in Egypt. And every, every week we pray for a different country where the, our brothers and sisters in Christ are suffering even unto death and of great uh, deprivation and uh, loss and loss of loved ones and uh, loss of home. And uh, we, so we're happy to be a part of a prayer team for the people, our, our brothers and sisters in Egypt. But Psalm 96 opens like this. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord and bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared among all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Heavenly Father, thank you for being such a great God. Thank you for uh, having somebody come and tell us about your Savior and the way to heaven and the way to be saved. Thank you that we've opened our hearts to you. We are children of God and our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life because we've prayed and asked you to come into our heart and to take away our sin. And we promise to serve you, Lord, as the best we can and give you the, we'll give you the, four, the four part of our life, the first place in our life. Just thank you for being such a great God. And dear Lord, we're praying today for our brothers and sisters in Egypt. And we know right now that in, in Egypt, in Cairo, uh, the church of one of the Coptic churches there has been bombed and burned. And now uh, where uh, can they rebuild or where, where can they turn? And some worse than that, Lord, their lives are taken because of one thing, not because they're, they're wicked people, but because they confess Jesus Christ is to be their Savior and no one else but Jesus alone. And they paid the price and now they're in your presence and they wear the martyr's crown. And uh, so we don't pray for them because they're with you, Lord, but we pray for those left behind and, some, and so many of the little children and uh, how they have to suffer and go through so many things. We, I know, Lord, we just know that you comfort and strengthen them. And the day will come when the trumpet will sound and time will be no more and there'll be no more suffering, but we'll be in the presence of the Lord forever. So we thank you that we have that to look forward to. We pray that in our service today, many will open their hearts to you. We pray that many who have drifted away will come back. We pray, Lord, that the, uh, all those who are shut-ins and those who are hurting will be blessed and helped. We pray for the young people, Lord, who face so many temptations, temptations we didn't even dream of when I was a te teenager. And I just pray that they'll love you and trust you and draw up on you. And even the children, we pray, Lord, that they'll open their heart to Jesus. May you receive all the glory and praise in Jesus' name. Amen.